In this lecture, we are going to create the EDA inventory. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this a bit more quicker because the idea of creating the EDA inventory is going to be pretty much exactly the same. It's no difference between the EDA customer versus the EDA inventory. Just that in the EDA inventory, the controllers are going to be a bit different. But the idea is going to be almost the same. It's going to have the different controllers to create an inventory and then it is going to hold the database and stuff so as you can see over here we have created the EDA inventory in the tryout event demo event driven demo course and it's going to be the type as web api and no authentications and i'm going to create the project so that's going to create an EDA inventory for me and then i'm going to add the bunch of controllers and stuff so let me go ahead and delete this and also weather forecast model we don't require it but we do require a data which is going to hold the product db context as well as the products so i'm going to copy paste some of the code that i have already written you can see that it's all going to come up automatically um, but just that we need to have an entity framework in here so the entity framework the better way in dotnet world right now is to copy the reference from here something like this and go to this particular project and then paste it over here so this way the references are going to be added automatically which is great so now we have product db context and also the products where the products you're going to have the id product id name and quantity this product table or the model is going to matching exactly the same products that you have seen over here right and then we require some of the controllers over here for the inventory and that's going to be nothing but the product controller over here and as you can see in this particular controller we also have the same kind of code like controller base and it has a constructor with the product db context it's going to have a get products controller it's going to have an update products controller and it also has a post product controller basically all the ddl operations are available over here right so update get and the post operation uh, so once we have all these things we can see that there is a reference error over here i think the reason is because of the newton software json i'm gonna probably use the json serializer dot serialize method over here instead of the serialize object from the newton software json because it is one less you get package to be added because now we have in the dot net already so i'm going to do that over here cool i mean this is going to be useful only while we require the data to be published but for now i just get like a template code over here so that's it this is about the product controller I also do the exact same thing over here so let me copy this and let me paste it over here cool so it's done and i can do a file cleanup just to ensure that all the codes are pretty good so that's about the product controller over here so let's try to run these two projects right now and see how it's going to look like first going to stop all these existing controllers that is running over here and I'm also going to go do the edit configuration. And this is very cool uh, in the writer world where you can just create a compound project. So if I just go select the compound uh, in the profile settings over here, and then I can say local div, and you can choose the EDA customer, and you can also choose the EDA inventory hit apply and okay so this is going to run both the project same time instead of you running them one by one so this is quite interesting in the writer world it is pretty much like the multiple project that you can select in the visual studio 2022 so now that we have the eda inventory as well to get the product put the product and post the product so now that our inventory is also ready I think the last thing that I have forgot in this inventory project is to go and add the references for the product DB context over here in the program.cs file and also here in the is development. I think the code is already written in our earlier lecture. So I'm gonna copy this code and then I'm gonna go to the program here, paste it. Instead of customer DB, it's gonna be the product DB context. So we have created everything right now. So it is pretty good to go. Starting our next lecture, we'll see how we can start using RabbitMQ and understand how we can use the event data architecture to exchange the data from the topics instead of using any classical API.